If you use Facebook Marketplace, listen to this warning. There is a classic bait and switch scheme that's happening right now where scammers are selling cars on the site only to steal them back right from your driveway. This is a trend the Harford County Sheriff's Office is starting to see in their area. WJC is live, new at 11. Christina Mendez tells us what you can do to protect yourself. Christina. If the deal seems too good to be true, the sheriff says trust your gut because it probably is and suggests instead not only vetting the car, but the stranger that you're about to buy this car from or just simply go directly to a dealership. It makes me weary of Facebook Marketplace. Or at least the seller using the site. That's the warning straight from Harford County Sheriff Jeff Goller. Uh, individuals found vehicles that they wanted to purchase, used vehicles for private sale through Facebook Marketplace. Within one week of each other, two separate victims from the county met up in public spaces with someone posing as a seller in Pennsylvania. All the paperwork looked in order. They made the cash transaction. And uh, when they got back here, they came home with their vehicle. They were very pleased. You know, got a good deal on it in these in these tough economic times, particularly in the car market. Um, and when they woke up the next morning, the car was gone. While detectives on the case cannot say whether both residents fell victim to the same scam artist or how the two cars were found after being taken to their new homes, their investigation did dig up this. Manufactured paperwork had sold a stolen vehicle. And the other car was a rental car, which we believe also to have been stolen. The sheriff says one victim lost $13,000 in cash, the other $16,000. It would feel so bad if that happened to my family or myself. Like, there's no way to go back from that as cash. Like, there's nothing you can do about it. It's a surprise to me, like, this is happening. While the sheriff says this type of scheme is a first for their county to investigate, he hopes to prevent this from happening to anyone else. Hey. If there's two, there's probably more, and if it's not here in Harford, it's probably happening around us. So just to raise awareness. And another tip from law enforcement, if you are planning on dealing with a private sale, don't use cash. I'm reporting live tonight for WJZM, Christina Mendez.